What's up beauties? Welcome back to my channel and hey if you're new my name is Makeup by Sasha and in today's video I'm actually going to be speaking about some issues that you guys actually wanted me to talk about. So I put a question on Instagram and quite a few of you came back with similar responses so what I'm going to be doing is just basically answering three very very pressing questions and um, just giving you guys my take on it so let's just get straight into this video so the first question somebody asked me how do you handle loss of friendships when putting yourself first and starting a new business now this is actually crazy because when you're starting your own business it's quite common to lose friends it's sad but it's true it happens they tend to get really threatened when you start up leveling you start um progressing in your life you start showing signs of success and it kind of just makes them reevaluate their own lives um, and I think that is very, 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 very common. So I would say to you guys, just mourn the relationship and move on. Don't try to keep begging them to be friends with you. It's okay. Not everybody in your life is there forever. Some people are just literally there for a season or to show you something and just move on. And that's fine. You'll find that um, you'll start meeting people. You'll start whether it's going to be clients, you'll start befriending clients, you'll start meeting other business owners, other inspirational people and other people that will add to your life in a positive way. So don't get too caught up on old friends or, or friends that are jealous or envious of you. It's okay. Just move on guys because you'll meet new people, especially when you start to kind of like look into yourself, when you start to grow people will just come to you you'll you'll find that you'll kind of just leak a confidence about yourself and you'll leak sort of like a serious vibe and people will just flock towards you so don't worry about that guys it happens but you can get over it okay to be a little bit selfish is fine like it's fine to put yourself first i'm learning a lot about myself just from the last maybe few years i've learned loads about myself how to um grow myself and how to be um, happy with me happy with who I am love myself from the inside out it's not easy to do and it's definitely something that you work out daily it's not something that you just wake up and all of a sudden that you love yourself it's literally like a daily thing it's a mind process as well guys it's just I'll have to do a whole other video on that because it's just a lot but putting yourself first is not a problem and if you have friends that are threatened by that then they shouldn't really be your friends. Friends are meant to, even if you do have a friend that just kind of, um, you know, maybe they could be in like a really turbulent relationship or they're not doing too well in their lives, a good friend will clap for your success and ask you for advice and ask for help. Being self-employed, managing your brand and finding a work and life balance. Now, this is kind of juicy because I don't even know where to start with this. Let me start with being self-employed. Now, I absolutely love being self-employed. I love it, literally. You get to work when you want. You get to travel when you want. You get to earn an uncapped salary and you just get to be your own boss. It's great, I love it. You get to add to your skills, like the possibilities are endless and I just love having nobody to answer to but myself. However, that in itself can be a downfall because it means that you have to be self-motivated and sometimes it's so hard to do that. It, it can be very, very, very challenging to keep self-motivated, especially if you're working alone and you're literally a jack of all trades and you've had to literally do everything yourself like for example me the only person that i have actually employed is somebody to edit my videos literally that is it i literally do everything myself and do everything myself so that can be quite a challenge especially trying to focus on building your business and taking it to the next level getting stuck doing emails replying to emails or messages it can just be like oh it's a lot it is a lot and i know you business owners definitely know what i'm talking about when i say it's a lot it is a lot it's not easy but i feel like that's kind of like part and parcel of it you have it's how you begin it's how you start so there's that especially with the corona um this corona pandemic um it's just it's kind of like shaken the self-employment 
world it really has but i've had to literally move my business online i've had to now do online classes and courses and, and what have you and i think it's still growing but it's definitely been a good thing it's shown me that i can teach people online i never even thought i could do that it's not going to be easy you're going to have sleepless nights sometimes but if you've got the drive and the passion 100% you can do it. When I used to work like nine to five or I used to have like retail jobs, I just used to be like, oh, I can't be bothered today, I'm gonna call in sick. Like literally, I remember one time when I used to work in Asda guys, when I was younger, um, I remember one time I was like doing my little doop, doop, doop checkout, yeah? And then I just thought, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm so tired, my arms and my back is hurting. You'll be surprised, the amount of times you're like, beep, beep. That's actually a lot on your back and your, your arms, you know, don't get twisted. And literally, I just said to um, my manager, so I was like, oh, I really need to go to the toilet. I'd, sorry, can I um, come off the till? I need to go to the toilet. So she was like, okay, yeah, fine. Mate, I literally left. I just went out the back and I left and I did not come back. And I remember my colleagues were messaging me saying, Sasha, where, where were you? Like, they were calling you on the tannoy. Can Sasha come to the checkouts? <laughs> And I was out of there. I was literally out. I did not return. I didn't even go back to that Asda. And that was my local Asda. I used to shop there, everything. I didn't go back to that Asda for like three years after that. Because they literally asked me like, what the hell happened? Like, where was you? I just, that's how I used to do things. Like I did not, if I didn't like a job, I'm not staying there. Like nothing could make me stay. Even if the pay was really good. I've had so many jobs and just different types of jobs and I've hated all of them. I've literally hated all of them to the point where my parents used to be like, Sasha, you can't keep doing this. Like you need to stick at something. You can't just up and leave when you don't like a job. Like, but that is exactly what I used to do because I used to just hate my jobs until yeah, one day, um, I literally Googled it. Like, I know a lot of you know this story. Like, I literally, because I was so tired of not knowing what to do. I did not know, have the foggiest of what I should do in life. I was completely lost. Um, I remember one day I Googled um, how to be, no, what did I say? I said, because I knew that I wanted to do something creative, but I just didn't know what to do. So one day I Googled it. I was just like, highest paid creative jobs and makeup artists came up on the list amongst others and I was like do you know what I can see myself doing that I can totally see it so from that day I started doing makeup I started getting my friends in the chair doing makeup I only had a little makeup at the time but I remember that I started from that weekend I started to buy 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 a lot of the things I was buying was crap but I was just buying because I really wanted to start I just wanted to start and now I'm here, like now I'm traveling the world, I'm international, I'm making an uncut salary. I am, yeah, just being able to like, look after myself, have my business actually pay for things. Like it's mad and I'm not having to answer to anybody but myself. And I never really, I never thought I could do that. Managing my own brand, which is kind of like ties into what I was just saying. Um, managing my brand, I'll be honest, it's not very easy, but the reason why I don't find it so difficult is because I love doing it. I love it, literally, I just love it. With managing your own brand, you get full control over your business. No one's telling you how to run it. If you wanted to say, I don't work Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can completely say that. No one's gonna say anything to you, like, it's fine. So I absolutely love managing my own business. It's not easy and it's taken a lot of trial and error. I used to go through a lot of error in the beginning, to be honest. And all I would do is literally learn from that error. So say for example, I used to make so, I used to take so many L's. I remember like booking people um, like halfway across the country and forgetting to charge a proper um, call out fee. And I used to just be like, oh my gosh, I've basically just not made nothing off of this job. And I used to do that a few times. And I used to think, do you know what? I can't keep doing this. Like this has got to change. So every time I would come home and I'd feel really crap about 
my day or I'd feel crap about the, the, the poor decision that I made and I'd come home and I'd write it down. And all that would do is just show me what I needed to change about my business. It gives you time to, to learn, I would say, because there's nothing riding on it. There's no one breathing down your neck. Okay, you need to do this by this time. You're free to try things out and you're free to make mistakes, which is what I appreciated. Oh, I can, I can say that now. I appreciate that now. Another thing I do is every single morning I have a strict routine. So I'll get up, I will meditate for 10 minutes. So that could be visualization, that could be prayer, that could be deep breaths in and out. And another thing I would do, I'll also read as well in the morning, minimum five to 10 pages each morning. Speak to myself. So I'll say, I am beautiful. I am confident. I am wealthy. I will say all these things. I say loads of stuff, but I just keep repeating it, keep repeating it. Sometimes I do repeat a scripture as well, depending, a to-do list. And I'll literally write down every single thing and I'll put like a little box under every single point. I'll just plan my day ahead. I'll plan exactly what I need to do. But sometimes I actually do work out in the morning as well. Um, I try to do that in the morning. If I don't, I'll do it in the evening. But all of that really helps my day to kick off properly and productively like you'll be surprised just doing that it helps you to stay focused on the goals that you need to meet that day or the targets that you need to meet that day so i definitely recommend even if you don't do anything else if i said to you do two things that would be to 100 meditate and also write to-do list those two things super important the last question i'm going to touch on today is how to get new clients now this is so i feel like a lot of people ask this question how to get new clients. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, consistency brings clients. Doesn't matter what you're doing, even if you're not a makeup artist, even if you're just doing something completely different, if you're consistent with something and you're consistently showing what you are doing, you're gonna get people asking questions. You're gonna remain relevant in people's minds. Even in their subconscious, you're gonna be there. So the next time someone says, oh, well, I can't really need my makeup done, you're gonna think, oh my gosh, Sasha, because I am constantly in your faces. I'm constantly posting on my story, or I'm constantly posting. And that will make you remember me when somebody asks, or if you need your makeup done, you're gonna remember Sasha, because I'm always there. I'm, I'm there every day. And remember guys, the more consistent you are with your work and your quality of work, people will refer you and that's how I get a lot of my clients it's, it's through word of mouth it's through um, Instagram Facebook whatsapp even I take advantage of all my social medias and my whatsapp I take advantage of that because it's free you're not paying for it you don't have to pay for it so I would say post every day at least once a day look at how you're taking your pictures do they look beautiful are they showcasing your work enough do you need to buy lighting for that? Do you need to buy a backdrop? Like, do you need to buy a camera maybe, or maybe fix the settings of your phone? All of these things play a part in promoting your work. Because I remember in the beginning, oh my gosh, before I had a ring light, I used to get so angry because I used to do a beautiful work on someone's face. And then when I'm taking a picture, all you could just see is just wrap. It just wasn't translating and it used to frustrate me. I used to be like, what's happening? Like, and I used to go and try and sit in front of a light and it just would be even worse. And I used to be like, no, this is, this is not it. Until I literally found this thing right here. This is what saved me, a ring light. So that's what I've got for you guys today. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys managed to get some gems from this video. Let me know if you actually want me to do any other discussion videos, chit chat videos, or if you have any topics that you want me to talk about with you guys, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel. If not, you know what to do. If you did like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again in my next video. Take care, bye.